What's going on, everybody? I'm going to demonstrate how to stream uh, your Xbox Series X onto a uh, laptop. So you want to open up your Xbox first, and then go to settings. When you go to settings, you're going to go to devices and connections. Then you want to go over here to remote features. Put in your password if you got one. And then you want to select enable remote features. Because if you don't select this, the next step is uh, not going to work. So right now, this is going to test. It's going to run a quick test on uh, if your settings are compatible, like your internet speed, your NAT type, to see if all that stuff is open well enough for you to uh, stream. So right here, I got green check marks all up in there, so I should be OK. I'm going to click Next, Close. So I'm going to leave that open. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to my computer. Now, when you go to your computer, you want to open up the Microsoft Store, and then you want to type Xbox up there. And you want to install this Xbox app. It's going to say Xbox Apps Entertainment Microsoft Corporation. And it's going to look like this logo. You do not want to install the Xbox Companion. It does look similar to this, but that the icon won't be the same. So after you install that, you want to open it up. And then, since we just set this up over here, you're going to see this icon. Now, if you didn't do the first step, you're not going to see this icon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this. And if you don't see like your console on here, you're going to click on See Console List and then select your console but mine is already showing up so I'm going to select the console and right now it is connecting remotely to my um alright so see this is the settings that we left off on so now my uh so right now my let me see if Guardians of the Galaxy is on if the disc is inside so right now I am streaming my Series X to my PC. Now, you probably want to stream if you have like a really weak computer. So that's what I'm using this feature for. Even though I'm recording on my um, my gaming PC right now, even though I'm recording on my gaming PC, I have an old laptop, a AMD A8, that I'm able to stream my Series X to. I haven't been able to notice any lag, any stutters, any jitters, any tearing, and this laptop is well over, I want to say I bought, bought the laptop in like 2013 or something like that, so 2013, 2014, the, it, it has an integrated graphics card, so all this stuff is, is running based purely off your internet. I do suggest, I do suggest that you use, um, uh, what is it? So, like, if you are using it Wi-Fi, I would suggest having okay. your Series X hardwired with Ethernet right. and your laptop right uh, connected to a five gigahertz yep. uh, connection to, to get the uh, best size. Mark, no, no, Flark and Skaggy, Kratak and batteries fried. That's what's wrong. Maybe so you put it down too hard. Let's just right find here. a solution. The solution's a new battery with a charge. Okay. And I forgot to mention the step. You do want to hardwire your controller into your laptop. Here, right? if you, you know, yeah. I'm not sure if uh, Maybe you're gonna Bluetooth will work. But this. you take your you uh, Xbox controller, plug the, the USB Type-C in, or even the older Xbox controllers, or um, I think pretty much any controller that's compatible with your PC but I preferably use the 360 controller or the uh, Xbox one and Xbox series Gamora, X, so when are you gonna computer. share your contacts and sources when will you share yours what you know about yep, all so my that's guys. pretty much it that uh, thanks for checking out the video make sure you like and subscribe peace out you've got a guy who never says no.